businesses and restaurants could find out soon if more grant money from the state is available to them. A package of bills that would provide an additional $235 million in funding is sitting on Governor Murphy's desk after receiving final legislative approval. About half of that amount would go to micro businesses, those companies with only a few employees. Meantime, the New Jersey Economic Development Authority is seeing plenty of interest in the current small business grant program. EDA CEO Tim Sullivan tweeted on Friday that there have been 5,000 approvals totaling $60 million. Policymakers, advocates, and academics gathered virtually last week to tackle the issue of why hundreds of thousands of women have left the workforce during the pandemic creating what some are calling not a recession, but a she-session. New Jersey State Treasurer Elizabeth Maramoyo hosted panel discussions from experts who said the pandemic has made the wage gap even worse, especially for women of color. Advocates say higher pay could help bring women back, but what the pandemic really hammered home is the need for a renewed focus on childcare, according to Emily Martin, who's with the National Women's Law Center. We sort of had a, a jerry-rigged, barely working system before the pandemic exploded it. And um, it's been made really clear that we need to invest in childcare as critical infrastructure in this country to ensure that families can support themselves, that women can go to work. And companies need women to come back. According to a recent survey from NFIB, nearly half of the small businesses polled say they have more jobs than they do candidates. The NFIB says May marked the fourth straight month of record high readings for unfilled job openings. A new medical marijuana dispensary is now open in central Jersey. Zen Leap has opened its third dispensary in the Mercer County community of Lawrence. Now here's a check on Wall Street trading. I'm Rhonda Schapler and those are your top business stories.